is Mestia, a town located in the north of Georgia, in a region of Swanety. I have left Kutaisi and set off on a six hour long drive to get here. Why? To embark on a four day long hike across snowy mountain passes, bone chilling rivers and remote villages. All of this just to meet the most amazing people and see the best Georgia has to offer. This is how my journey went. After waiting three days for the rain to stop, there was finally a small chance of decent weather window. It was barely big enough to complete my hike, but it was my only chance. I couldn't stay at the hostel anymore. I needed to go. And good morning! Today is the day. I'm starting my four-day hike in the beautiful town of Mestia. This four-day long hike starts here in this town of Mestia and goes all the way to Ujguli. Ujguli is one of the highest inhabited uh, villages in Georgia. It's one of the most beautiful towns that can be found around here for its uh, like a history and for the location in the nature in between the mountains. As you can see, the weather isn't really perfect. It's been raining for three days straight. It's super cold. I'm at 1,500 meters and yesterday it's been already snowing here. So this trek is gonna take me all the way to 2,700 meters and I wasn't really prepared prepared for snow because I have just like low boots, but we'll see. Beside the guest houses, there are no shops and restaurants during the hike. So what will I eat? This amazing, freshly baked, crunchy and fluffy Georgian bread. It's the best bread I had like in my whole life. It costs just 1.5 lari, which is something like 30 cents, which is like a super bargain. That's how cheap Georgia is. This first day of the hike is supposed to be rather easy, which is like uh, 16 kilometers to walk at an elevation of uh, four to 500 meters, maybe 600. It's gonna be a pain to walk in the snow. I have no hiking poles. My backpack, as you can see, is like solid 15 to 20 kilos. So it's gonna be quite hard. So wish me luck, guys. I was finally able to catch a glimpse of the majestic peaks. They were hidden by the clouds for the past few days, and they really surprised me by their size. Being covered by the snow, they looked even bigger. I'm slowly making my way up the first hill, and these are the views that I'm looking at. The only slight problem is my footwear, which is not really ideal for these conditions as it is quite snowy, as you can see. There's the path, but the problem is that with my big back it's quite difficult to walk under the trees because all the snow is falling on me. Oh shit. I'm catching all the branches with my back. But only essential things there. The snow came so early that the leaves uh, haven't fallen out of the trees yet. So therefore all these branches are hanging really, really, really low. They are full of snow. Therefore it's extremely difficult to walk under the branches. <laughs> So great news, I already made it past the highest point of uh, today's hike. And there is another mountain range back there, I don't know if you can see that. Apparently here should be like really nice views of the valley. Unfortunately due to the clouds I cannot see pretty much anything. I'm gonna wait here for a minute and see if the clouds move away so I can have the beautiful view of the valley. The clouds hadn't moved for a solid 15 minutes, so I decided to continue. I was getting cold by stopping for just a few minutes, so breaks weren't allowed. As the chance of rain was still high, and I had a long way to my guest house ahead of me. It's really hard to describe, but it's just so 
peaceful to walk here. I've barely met some people, no crowds here, maybe just a crowd of cows, but yeah, I see some of them right now. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> oh, well, I, don't eat me, please. Just don't eat me. <laughs> I love the locals here. They're so friendly and playful. And here's the problem. Today I'm sleeping in this village down there and tomorrow I'm supposed to go all the way up here. There's a quite a lot of snow up there, so um, it's gonna be fun, I guess. I just made it to the Lakiri village, which is like the last village before the trail joins like a regular road. They have quite a lot of Swanetti towers here. They are former defense towers that they were using to defend the village against like an enemies. It's super cool seeing them so still standing to this day because they must be quite old. I just hope I will be able to climb on top of one in the next villages that I'll be staying in. There's one, one thing for my bucket list that I have to do in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> the first day of hiking is done. I did 16 kilometers, 700 vertical meters up, and I made it to Zabeshi. And I'm already at my guest house. His name's Tarado. And um, let's just hope it's this one. <laughs> and this is the accommodation. So let's see. I mean, quite basic, but what can you expect from 12 euros for accommodation, dinner, breakfast, and a lunch? I was the only hiker in the whole guest house. And that meant only one thing. The whole dinner was being prepared just for myself. This is a dinner for one. Chicken with some something, eggplant, potato salad, vegetables. Wow, delicious. Ketchup puri. It's like a bread that's filled with a lot, proper load of cheese. Soup, chicken, vegetables. All you need after a really nice hike. This is cha cha, right? No, cha cha. Cha cha. Pir, plum, uh -huh. and different fruit. Different homely, fruit. Homely. Oh, cha cha. Camar juice. Okay. <laughs> cha cha. This is, I think this is made from plum. It's like a really strong spirit, like 50% alcohol. Definitely plum <laughs> one is enough. Yeah, all the guest houses that are on the on the track from Mestia to Ujguli are providing with this kind of dinner. It's not in the price, it costs like three euros, but you can see it's more than enough for me to eat. So let's try the ketchup puri, the traditional meal. Just cheese. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of like a Slovak sheep cheese. It's been mixed with potatoes. Yeah, quite delicious. Fatty, but delicious. <laughs> this is potato salad. Back home, we're having potato salad just on two occasions, Easter's and Christmas. So I'm quite surprised to have potato salad here. This is like a pure Christmas for me. Let me show you a magic trick. See, there's a cord. You pick the one you want. I think I need this one. Just plug it here and voila, a light. That's how light works here. I have a whole bed just for myself, so this night's gonna be epic. So, see you tomorrow at the breakfast. Good night! I'm so glad that every accommodation I'm staying has this kind of heaters. 
They're like lifesavers. My feet like them.